Christie, our next guest, says he got the B.C. election wrong, along, though, with the rest of the world. Sun News contributor and liberal strategist Warren Kinsella joins Except me you. Now in studio. Except I, you. I, I you even, got it right. I couldn't right. even get through that intro. Like, what the hell? I, you know what? Look, I'm not a political strategist. I'm just a little girl from Bay Street. Do you want to work for me? Do you want to work for me? Look, um, this is, I didn't get so far as predicting majorities. That's, that's your ball game. All I thought was a few weeks ago, this was this was the thing for me, and I've been saying it since for three weeks now. Even when she was down, what, 20 points behind Adrian Dix, I said, so I'm at this dinner party, think tank uh, place, uh, a lot of left-wing, so-called left-wingers there. These are folks that traditionally should be behind the NDP, NBC, and they were all scared of the guy. Mm. And I thought if these guys aren't backing Adrian Dix, he doesn't stand a chance because at the end of the day, tree huggers need jobs. Just one question. Yes. Will you buy a 649 ticket I for me? <laughs> <laughs> That I can do for you. Because you're the only one who got it right. Anyway. <laughs> but let's talk a little bit. What happened last night? Like she, well, she, didn't get had, her, she didn't get her seat, I, though. I, I got it wrong. Yeah. I got it wrong. I, you know, I, I knew, and the data showed that Christy Clark was not popular, particularly with women. So yeah. she did lose her seat, and she lost her seat decisively. But as you have pointed out, and we've been reporting since last night, no polling agency, no pundit, no prognosticator got this one right. Everybody got it wrong. And so I have a few reasons why I think that this is taken. Reasons. I got 10. Do you want to we'll go through them quickly? <laughs> yeah, let's do I it. love top 10 lists. So, all right, here we yeah. go. So, number one, the polls got it wrong. Yeah. Um, and there was a huge number of undecided, and they obviously skewed BC Liberal. And there were a lot of people who stayed home. So, there were a lot of people who just did not vote. Mm -hmm. And the poll was, I guess, oversampling those. Number two, the pundits. So, you know, Vaughn Palmer, Mike Smith, uh, Gary Mason, these are people who are paid to pay attention to BC all the time and I respect them all so much and they were saying the BC NDP are gonna win wow. they were wrong so all of us need to re-examine that the, mm -hmm. the third thing I think is um, campaigns matter mm -hmm. A lot of Dalton McGinty people, Don Guy, Laura Miller, Ben Chin, mm -hmm. uh, who actually used to work in this studio, yeah. were out working for Christy Clark. And those people know how to win. And that was one of the smartest things she did. And she's she a campaign queen. Oh, she is. Right? You've she got to give credit where credit's due. She didn't get her seat. But overall, great in the debater, province, yeah. great campaigner. Whereas Dix, and this is one of my other reasons, Dix himself, you know, he wasn't a kind of a leftist, firebrand, crazed socialist, mm -hmm. but he was kind of dull. So, as your friends yeah. indicated at the party, you know, they Can't were the not so sure about him. I also think those attack ads. <laughs> is that on your list? It's on my list. Okay. You know, the BC NDP, under the tutelage of Don Guy and another guy named Don Miller, who were also McGinty liberals. Yeah. We're running these attack ads oh, non-stop, non-stop, and Dick said, "I'm not going to play that game." Much as just Justin and you Trudeau call has that. done. Let's give credit where credit's due. You always say, time and time again on this show, you gotta go negative, whether you like it or not. He didn't go negative. He did kind of, sorta. Too late. Yeah, you don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Yeah. So, um, so that was one. And then the, you know, the uh, I would say that the BC Conservative Party there was a total collapse of the vote. In order for Dix to win big, he needed the BC Conservatives to do better. They were a serial joke. That you know they just could not get their act together. Uh, but. It, one of the things that Don Guy and Laura Miller and all these other people did is they said to Christy Clark, your focus has to be the economy, mm. right? And you know this because this has been your beat for such a long time. Yeah. Economists say that the recession is over. Joe and Jane Front Porch don't They're believe not it. Feeling that. They don't believe it. And uh, the other guy who knows that is the guy that she associated with most closely was Stephen Harper. Mm -hmm. Stephen Harper, I think a lot of liberals and new Democrats thought that the Stephen Harper brand was broken, mm -hmm. it ain't, nope. right? She was shot. closer to Stephen Harper than she was to Justin Trudeau, yep. and it didn't hurt her. It may have even actually helped her. And then the 10th because reason- Because she was seen as a bit more credible with respect to the well, economy. Well, she was surrounded by Stephen Harper people yep. from her chief of staff on down, former chief of staff. They were all Stephen Harper folks. So Harper's got to be very happy this morning, and Trudeau and Mulcair need to pay attention to that. And then the 10th reason, and I can say this because I lived there and I loved it, is BC's a little nutty. <laughs> <laughs> You can get away with saying that. I've only been there for five days. I'm heading there actually in a couple of weeks, but I was only there for about five days, five years it's ago. It's different. It's different? Yeah, the politics is different. It's different. Let me ask you, I don't know if polling is an area that, that it's a fair question to ask you, but we were talking to Bill Tillman earlier, and it just popped in my head. 
everybody got it wrong. The pollsters were way off base. Is it because we're relying so much on online surveys when, let's be honest, it's older people who still vote and older people aren't doing the Z10 Blackberries. They're not doing the Q10s. Well, the research I've seen, because I have a client who is preoccupied with wireless technology, yeah. up to 30% of Canadians no longer have a landline in their home. Yeah. Right. And among young Canadians, the figure is even higher. So that's created a huge problem for pollsters because how do they reach you? How do mm -hmm. I get to Anita? So they do things like IVR, which is interactive voice uh, response thing. They do online pools. But what they're losing is representative sampling and their, their margin of error has gone up. Yeah. And clearly there is something wrong. And, you know, I think people like us need to, well, not you, but me, uh, need to share in the blame. I just got this one right. You got it. No, you <laughs> just, got it. Right. This one, just no, this but one. we need to, yeah. as people who owe an obligation to our viewers and yeah. our readers to get it right, we have an obligation to not let pollsters do our thinking for Absolutely. us. We got to go back and knock on doors and yeah. talk to people and say, what do you think? Because the pollsters now, this is Alberta, mm -hmm. this is Quebec, this is misjudging or not even seeing Jack Layton coming, and now mm -hmm. BC. This is four times now mm -hmm. we've all gotten it wrong, and you know we've got to stop doing the way we've been doing things. I'd also flip it on its tail and say. Could Kudos to the people of BC for not buying into the polling, not thinking, oh gosh, if it's going to be, you or know. maybe they're lying to pollsters. That's, I mean, what, it, that's what I said. I tweeted that out as well. Hello, Barack Obama, 2008, 2012. Uh, both times the pollsters got it way off base because, quite frankly, people didn't want to admit that they were voting him for whatever reason. They didn't yeah. want to admit it. And they went and secretly put it in their I was their talking ballot. to my staff about this this morning. They're all very, you know, adept political people. We were just marveling at BC last night. Yeah. There's a whole conversation that's taking place out there mm -hmm. about politics mm -hmm. that people like us are not tapping into and we're being kept out of. we got to figure out a way to get into that conversation yeah. if we're going to be able to predict results accurately. Absolutely. Very well stated. All right, Warren, we're still keeping you here on uh, Canada <laughs> Live. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me and back. Nice I appreciate that. All right. That is Liberal strategist and Sun News contributor Warren Kinsella. Folks, be sure to check out Warren's book, Fight the Right, a manual for surviving the coming conservative apocalypse.